Umintri rang ba ka jela o Konrad K Sangma. Ulong ba unsa examen ni ka jing ya ki klempur jing inong trai ka JVK EMRI si spa pra. Kabalas dang na duhinin ka sengi ka si trai ka urisaw. Haba keren menta ka sengi, o Konrad ulong ba um sengoy hap ban penlongi ka jing ya ki. Kamtam haba day bat ka kam ban syakri ka yap ka im jing ipad ba. Ulo ong ru ba kan baha bakin poy si ka jing ya suthu jing mud lang o man siyem da gilinti ban ya ki. Ulo ong ru ba un sa examen ni ka ni ka kam hadin balay kendu igi he ka tanat ka kwek ka kia. Kesorkar kelab penjari dari Essential Services Maintenance Act kat kandai sepak prapo. Si, we have been talking to the GBK. As you're aware that the people who are employed in GBK are not directly government employees. We have a contract with GBK and GBK then further employs people, individuals. So it is not something that is directly in our control. And it's not something that we can directly influence. It is almost like a private organization running and and uh, doing their uh, work. So therefore, uh, there is a bit of a challenge in the government directly coming to the picture and uh, uh, taking any kind of uh, step in that. Uh, only thing we can do is try to bring the two parties together and try to uh, make sure that uh, some kind of understanding comes up between them. So uh, it's really a, a matter in which uh, state government uh, has a minimum role. But yes, since it affects the lives of the people and affects the service of the people, uh, we have urged both sides to work out a solution and come to an understanding. But I would urge the GBK, uh, you know, employees uh, that they must understand that this is this is essential service, which is affecting the you know the lives of the people. And uh, yes, that issue is important. But there are uh, you know ways in which we can uh, resolve this and talk to them and find out a way forward, which they have to talk to the companies. But I think uh, stopping the service is not the right way because it, as I said, it affects the day to day. It affects the lives of individuals because obviously it's an essential service. Well, I, I cannot say that anybody has failed because, as I said, it's not uh, they're not government employees directly. They are employees of a company uh, which uh, we have outsourced the work to. So it's difficult for us to directly intervene or even the health department to intervene. The most they can do is really urge both sides to come together and discuss. So there have been differences, I think, and uh, but we do hope that uh, you know better sense will prevail uh, in all in both the, uh, uh, both the sides and both the stakeholders. And hopefully they'll be able to find a solution. And we urge everybody, as I said, to ensure that services are not disrupted because it's really, at the end of the day, people's lives depends on this. And that's the reason why we needed to step in and uh, make sure that uh, you know, this kind of uh, uh, strike does not uh, take place because it affects the essential services given to the people. As a CM of the state, will you hold any talk between these two parties? I have uh, not uh, discussed in detail with uh, with, uh, uh, with the health department yet about this, uh, but I will examine the matter and see how to take it on.